you're part of the Extreme Microbiome Project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that involve and what kind of fun, uh, fun organisms have you uh, learned about, have you gotten to explore? We have a, it's a really fun project, XMP, the extreme microbiome, which is as it sounds like. We look for really odd places, like high, heavy radiation environments, high salt, high or low temperature, you know, strange area, the space station, for example, lots of radiation and microgravity, places where organisms can evolve for interesting adaptations. And some of them have been organisms we've seen like at a, a candy pink lake in Australia called Lake Hillier, mm -hmm. which we just published a paper on this where it, Why it, is it pink? Uh, so it's actually uh, Danelia salina, so these, one of these organisms, there's a mixture of bacteria and some algae that are there that make it bright pink. So they actually make keratinoids, these like really sort of uh, orangey and kind of pink molecules when you look at them in the light. So if you, know, if you get enough of the bacteria, it becomes pink. So, and it's not just pink, it's like bubblegum pink the lake. And so we, uh, that, that's just an odd, it's a halophile, meaning that it grows in 30% salt. Mm -hmm. And if you go below 10, 15% salt, it doesn't even grow. It actually kills it. Where oh, that? wow. Yeah, there it is, like here. Is it toxic to humans or no? It, so when you walk in the pink lake, actually, it's so hypertonic, meaning it's so salty, you can feel it lysing and killing your cells on your foot. So it actually hurts to walk in because it's so salty. Uh, so yeah, so but it won't kill. You. It'll. It, it, Listen, you have to suffer for art. And that's right. Great that's art right. requires suffering. Right. I mean, so it is a beautiful lake. Uh, we, you have to get permits to go sample there. But we actually just got an email last week. There's pilots who fly over this in Australia because they love the color. Yeah. So he emailed us one of the pilots and he said, "Hey guys, I saw you publish this paper. It's not as pink as it used to be because he loves flying over it. And it was like a little bit less pink because they had a bunch of rain in the past yeah. few weeks. So it was just a little bit diluted. So we we reassured him it'll get more pink as they grow again." Uh, but basically, yeah, it, it's a beautiful pink lake, and so that is gorgeous. It's almost like a, it's like a Dr. Seuss book or something. It does, it's like it doesn't is even it look hard real. to get to. Yeah, it's, there's no road. You have to, you have to basically fly uh, land nearby it and then paddle in. But uh, so it's not next to anything, so it's hard to get to. But once you get there, um, it's beautiful. If anyone knows how to get there, let me know. I want to go there. <laughs>